following problem. <clears throat> so what will happen here is uh, we need to use, we're using the given u substitution, which helps that they have assigned here. So what, what we'll do is here, we'll, we'll solve for du. du is in substitution for dx. So du in this instance equals four. Um, du down here is equal to four y. Okay, so for part a, um, to get du equal to dx here when we use u substitution, we have to multiply um, du by one fourth. So we have one fourth because we only have dx out here. We don't have a four, that's why. Secant squared u, which is the four x plus one. All right, so the integral of secant squared is tangent. So when we integrate this, we end up with one fourth tangent u plus c. Now substitute back in, we end up with one fourth tangent of four x plus one plus c. Okay, so that solves part a. Now what about part b? So for y, see we just have y out here uh, we need to make up for that, so we need to multiply by one fourth again. It looks like, and for you here, this is um, the square root, same thing as one half. So we can write um, one plus two y squared. So u raised the one half du. Integrate this, we end up with one fourth times u add one to it, so three halves, and then divide through by three halves, so it ends up being equal to multiplying times two thirds, uh, two thirds, which is equal to one sixth, one sixth, u raised to three halves. We'll go ahead and substitute back in, so we end up with um, one plus two y squared raised to the three halves plus C. And that's it for part B. All right, I hope this problem helped you out. I appreciate you watching this video and you have yourself a great day.